This is Pablo Elvira, a well-known opera singer who performed at the Ellen and on the Rialto Theater stage years before its recent remodel. He died at his Bozeman area home in 2000, but some believe he's still taking a bow at the Rialto. Pablo. We definitely know that the at least Pablo's here. We have had uh, multiple experiences. That's Elise Adams, founder of the Bozeman Paranormal Society. The group investigates haunted buildings. She's been called to the Rialto more than once. I believe it's pretty active. I do list it as number two of the being the most active place in Montana. I tried out one of the tools Adams uses to detect spirits, simple copper rods. Can you feel the weird pull though? I just did across my finger. If the rods cross, the answer to a question is yes. Separating no. means no. It's like totally. <laughs> Whether it was a spirit or the magnetic field, I can't verify. I can say for sure, it wasn't me. Some of the staff at the Rialto has experienced encounters of a strange kind. One of our techs, um, she was here alone at night locking up. Uh, it was early in the morning and she walked out of the sound booth downstairs on the lower level and came face to face uh, within just a couple feet of a young boy um, who then materialized into, or dematerialized in the air. Another one that we've had, we had a real big tough guy, one of our security guards, real sweet guy, but he was locking up one night and came upstairs here in the burn box and uh, claimed that he saw this misty form appear, appear in front of him and and then got really cold and then he got really scared and rushed out of the building and called us and, and told us about what happened. So far Brink says they're friendly ghosts. I mean we we like it you know we joke all the time about it we, you know we talk to them. You know. Do you really? Yeah I mean just because you know I mean if they're here cool we want to be buddies with them. According to Adams Sometimes people just want to hang around their happiest place a little longer.